Hello everyone. Thank you for coming up today. My old subscribers, thank you. And to those that are viewing for the first time or that have not subscribed, please click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. And to my new subscribers, thank you for subscribing. And please do not forget to hit on the like button. A beauty queen faces 50 years in jail after being accused of being part of a kidnapping gang. Um, she is a Mexican beauty queen and facing up to 50 years in prison after being arrested on suspicion of being part of a kidnapping gang. Laura Romero, who is 25 years old, is currently being detained in a city in the Mexican state of Veracruz. She is one of the three women and five men arrested by authorities. She was identified only by her first name in a statement released by investigators in the eastern Mexican state of Veracruz. Miss Mojica was described as one of the eight alleged members of a criminal organization specializing in kidnap in the state. Prosecutors said an elite anti-kidnap unit had acted to ensure there was no truce for people who caused serious harm to Veracruz following their arrest. They had arrested a lot of people that captured people who were all found guilty when they were captured. We have um, Antonio, Rahul, Maria, Laura, Enrique, Diego, Josil, and this all took place in Veracruz. And when personnel specialized in tracking kidnapping carried out an operation to capture those now linked to this judicial investigation, which also included this beauty queen. The eight alleged kidnappers have been remanded in custody for two months while the investigation continues. And Laura is understood to have been held in a city in Mexican state of Veracruz. Romero, who comes from the city of San Juan in Oaxaca, won the Miss Oaxaca 2018 Regional Beauty Contest and took part in the Miss Mexico competition the following year, that was in 2019. And this English-speaking model went on to represent her nation at the 2020 International Queen of Coffee Beauty pageant in Colombia. And the model defined herself as the more than just a pretty face in an interview that was held in January 2019 after her Miss Ozaka triumph. The business studies graduate said her priorities included tackling the problem of violence against women, saying, this were her words, we can't stand idle and watch. We have to eradicate violence against women through campaigns and educational talks and make men aware of this issue. This was what she claimed she stood for. But unfortunately, this lady, the Miss Mexico, has now been charged with a gang of kidnapping individuals, which is not a good thing at all. It has really stained her reputation and her image for what she stands for as an individual. And the, the painful part of this thing is she had presented herself saying that what she stood for was advocacy against women's violence. But right now, she's been caught up in the act of kidnapping. So what is she really trying to explain? Or what is she really trying to say she had actually stood out for? 
I'm winning this beauty pageant which made her to even stand out more. I think it would have been enough reason if probably she had been in such kind of a wrong group. There would have been a point that she would have talked to herself. At this point, she needed to withdraw or to put an end to an act like this, which was a horrible act. Kidnapping people, oh no. Families are in pains. Some families have lost loved ones. Some families never saw their loved ones anymore as a result of this act of kidnap. Some families never got to even say goodbye to their brother, sister, daughter, mother, father, son, uncle, auntie, none of them because they were kidnapped on aware. nobody expected it. And it was in some cases that they end up killing some of these people that they kidnap. They tortured them. Some are left in holes for months, for years, without any form of communication, without even seeing the sunlight. Some are tied, bound in chains, they go through horrible things, those people that are being kidnapped. And these kidnappers, most of them don't have human sympathy. They treat you with so much cruelty until they get what they're requesting for. Some are just out there to torture people. They're not requesting for any form of ransom. They don't want anything in exchange. They just want to see you suffer under their own hands. Friends, what do you all think about an incident like this? This is a beauty queen, a standing figure, a celebrity known by a whole lot of people. And then to come to find out that she is in a terrible and horrible gang that a lot of states and countries are kicking against and trying to fish them out. Unknown to them that one of the outstanding citizens and a member of an organization that is well known and organized by most countries and the whole world beauty pageant is usually organized by the whole world and someone who was picked and won is now being charged with kidnapping but why will a woman get involved in an act like this most times you see that it's men that do it you it's rare you see a woman involved you may see women involved probably against their will they are being bound and forced to either act that made to those kidnappers they cook for them they serve them they do all the chores in the house and usually it's against their will but for a woman to be part of the gang of the group herself it's rare well it's really strange seeing that a woman would be so hardened to get herself involved with something so horrible in a community in a state in a country and owing to the fact that you are even an outstanding person in your country you are even an outstanding person around the world most people in your country would know her most people would know who she really is but it's so heartbreaking that she had to get herself involved in an act like this but sometimes at least when you are involved in something horrible like this at some point something should tell you your conscience should prick you that this thing is going to jeopardize your future it's going to ruin your career she would have even decided after she won the pageant maybe she would have decided to back out but she kept on but unfortunately some of this group it's difficult for you to back out because by the time you back out, they come after you. That's the irony about joining dangerous groups like this. Because you can't just tell them you're no longer interested just like that. They feel you will go out there to expose them. So the best thing is for them to get rid of your life. Who knows, maybe that was the reason why she kept on in this particular group, knowing that she is now an outstanding personnel in her own country. I think it was the wrongest choice for her to have made. To have even started this particular group in the first place was the greatest and the worst decision she had taken for herself. Look at now, spending 50 years in jail. It's not like it's a fun place to be. It's not like it's a place where you'll be giving special treatment. It's a place where 
you are being treated equally with every other person that has committed a crime. 50 years in jail is not 5 days, it's not 5 weeks, it's not 5 years, it's a very long period of time. Please, people should be mindful of the kind of groups they get themselves involved in. Kidnapping is not a group that you would say is something of fun or something you didn't know. Kidnapping is kidnapping. There is no two ways about it. It's not something that you can garnish and twist it and say, okay, this was what you were doing. Once you're a kidnapper, you're being termed as a wanted person in the community, in the society. It's just so unfortunate that she didn't relent back. She didn't pull back. She didn't want to stop, but she continued with that particular act. Look at this young, beautiful lady. Now she would end up in jail for 50 whole years. Please, it's not worth it getting yourself involved in an organization that you know that if you're caught, you may lose your life. You may lose everything that you have even worked for in that particular organization please learn to have honest living ensure that your palms your hands are clean ensure that you carry out a honest job without having to infringe pain on anybody without having to cause death on anybody that's the most important thing in life once your hands are clean and you carry out an honest job you find out that you keep receiving blessings. God will keep opening doors for you in a way you wouldn't even understand. But once your hands are stained, you get that quick money. You find out that in the end, you may not even live long to enjoy that money. You may not even see that money anymore. You will find yourself confined space of jail without you having to enjoy what you think you have worked for. That easy money will cause you a whole lot of pain, will cause your family grief. Why get into it? This quick money has gotten a lot of people into so many things. And some people you'll be asking, why get into this? Some they, they don't really need this money. Some they are very contented. They have a lot of things. I think it I can't say they are very contented. They are, it's like they just want to explore. So they have the cash, they have the money, they are well to do, but you still see them getting involved into horrible acts, horrible gangs like this. Why do that? Is it greed? Would you say it is greed? Would you say it's lack of contempt? You're not contented with what you have. I think that is just the truth about it. Exploring, would you use kidnap to explore? Or would you use acts like armed robbery to explore? No. It's just greed lack of contempt you're not contempted with what you have once you're greedy you're not contempted this is exactly what happens to those people that are like that when you learn to be contempted with what you have learn to appreciate that which you think is little you would see more will come for you that thing you think is little check out the next door neighbor he may not even have anything at all then you may start appreciating what you have some people are so uncontented that they'll be forced to go out there no matter the cost no matter what it to take for them so long as they will get that money let them get it no matter what they need to sacrifice or do they are ready to do it please for those of you that have made up your minds to get involved into act or dangerous groups please think twice have a rethink these are not places that you go and you relax and you enjoy yourself for you at that time you may call it a fun time you're having fun you're enjoying yourself but not knowing you're just taking yourself gradually to jail because once you are caught it's going to be horrible some people even die in the process they don't even get to jail where you still have your life and you carry on. Some people in the course of these operations, kidnapping and all whatnot, they end up killing each other or they end up killing themselves. This is what happens. Or you end up dying as a result of one thing or the other that has affected you due to the group you have 
gotten yourself involved into so please everybody should have a rethink of getting yourself involved into groups ask questions make inquiries have details of what you're being called to come and do some people will say they didn't know they were just called and they didn't know this what they are into and they were caught up with them and how would you explain to the cops when you're being caught in the act it is better you remain a poor person than being a rich man or a rich man with so many problems you can't sleep you don't have rest and one day when you are caught all those wealth all those things will just be taken away from you that is the irony of all this quick money when you are caught up with the law you don't get to even enjoy this wealth anymore so why stress yourself because you go through stress why do all of that why don't you use that energy you're using to do something that is harmful that is evil use it and do something good any honest living you will keep your reputation and your honor look at this lady now her reputation she has just lost her reputation everything about her she has just lost it all the only thing she has now is her life that she will now take to jail for 50 years. So come to think of it. Look at the success she has made in life. Wasn't that enough for her to just put herself together and have fun with what you already have rather than getting yourself involved into a horrible group where they dehumanize people, treat people like animals, treat people like unwanted creatures. This is what some of these kidnappers do. And they request for ransom. Some after torturing you, they still request for that ransom. Some would even kill you and still request for ransom. Why all of that? They put families into distress, into worry. Some people are still looking for their family members still today. They've been kidnapped and nobody can see them anymore. It's so heartbreaking and horrible to put families through this. Some people are still mourning. A family member that they never saw, not even the cops to say, okay, this person is dead. The person was kidnapped and they never saw the person. No trace, nothing. Why put families through this, with this act of kidnap? Why do all of that? Some people will just be on their way home. Someone from nowhere with a van will come and pick them up and that is it. They are gone. Some of them, they never see sunlight anymore till they die why do you treat your fellow human beings like this please for those of you that are involved in act like or even thinking of getting involved as a result of the quick money please it's better you manage a little money you have honorably and work hard to get or earn an honest living than to have that quick money and in the end you may lose your life or at the end you spend the rest of your life in jail and don't forget, you have loved ones that are all around watching and waiting to see you alive and do good in life. But then you would now want to ruin everything for yourself. Please, don't destroy your life or don't destroy the lives of your family members or your loved ones. Because once you're being caught in this act, be rest assured that your family will be heartbroken. And you wouldn't want to put your family through all of that kind of a pain. Friends, what do you all think about this? Please, whatever you feel, you can put that down at the comment section. Thank you for coming up today. Please don't forget to hit the like button and the subscription so you get notified each time we upload a new video. Please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Friends, I'm here today to talk about how to start up a new YouTube channel. So for those that are looking to start up a new YouTube channel, probably you've been trying to figure out how to go about it, or you have been trying to see what it entails or what you need to start. That's why I'm here today to give you the easy way for you to get this done not just the easy but the best method and also to give you or to talk 
about the best teacher who would give you all that it required for you to start up your own YouTube channel. This is a teacher. He is really successful with his YouTube and he has been a teacher for so long now. Teacher is Matt Pa. He's going to give you a step-by-step -step method on how to start up your own YouTube channel. No stone unturned. Every step of the way, he's going to lead you through it. You have links that you can actually reach out to him and communicate with him directly. That's Matt Pather. You can see the huge successes he has made in YouTube. You can see his silver. You can see the gold. You can also see his revenue that he's actually making on YouTube, which is very huge. He is going to give you a YouTube step-by-step -step tube mastery class. Every step of the way from the beginning of the opening of the channel to how you can start up and put up your videos. He is leaving no stone unturned, like I said. So for those that are seeking for how to start up their own YouTube channel, this is the easiest and the fastest way for you to have access to this particular teacher who is honest and straightforward and you will enjoy every bit of the class and you will have lots of gain. At the end of your class, you will have lots to hold on to and to start up your own YouTube channel. It's going to be like an ABC class starting from the scratch. So please, for those of you that are interested in starting up your own YouTube channel, Matt Pa, he is the teacher and you will have direct access to him. I'm dropping the link below. So please, you just click on that link and you will have access to Matt Pa's class. He is going to give you the whole content of YouTube and all that it takes for you to be successful in YouTube and how to start YouTube from the scratch. Like I said, and I'm going to repeat, he's leaving no stone unturned. And it's so interesting that if you have any kind of complaint, no matter the time you have this complaint or you are confused about anything, you can communicate directly to him and he will give you a response as soon as he gets your question or as soon as he gets your mail or anything you're trying to confirm from him. He is quick at responding and he will give you the right answers. And even if you go elsewhere to search, you find out that what he is saying is actually true. He wouldn't mislead you. So please, for those of you that want to start your own YouTube channel from the scratch and see how you can be successful on YouTube, please go to this link, click on the link below. So you will have access to the teacher. That's the teacher there you can see and see his success. You can go through that and then you click on the link so that you can have direct access to Matt Pa himself. This teacher, you will enjoy and enjoy every bit of the classes that he's going to give to you. So friends, do not forget to click the link below so you have access to MathPass to Mastery class and he will give you the best teaching for YouTube you will really need to start your own channel. Friends, thank you for coming up today. Please, for those that have not subscribed, click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. Thank you once again and God bless you all.